Hey guys, my name is Matt Higgins and I'm the worship leader here at Northwoods Church. I want to welcome you to the worship and production team here at Northwoods. I just wanted to shoot a quick video just to tell you more about what it takes and our expectations for serving here in ministry on our worship and production team. So let's hit the highlights. First thing we want you to know is that our church mission is to make disciples who make disciples. Well, you may be asking, well, how can I make disciples who make disciples when I'm serving on the worship team or on our production team? Well, we expect you to live the life of a disciple, whether you're on stage or off stage, or whether you're in the production booth or whether you're outside of the production booth. Your character matters, your integrity matters, and we want you to have the character of a disciple of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? That we want you to be an example of a healthy disciple. We want you to participate in various different aspects of the life of the church, whether it's the gathering or small groups or one-on-one -on -one discipleship or serving on mission trips. We want you to be active in the ministry of here at Northwoods. We also want you to participate in worship, whether you're serving on the worship or production team or, or not for any given Sunday. We want you to be here as a part of our worship uh, as many Sundays as you can. The next thing that we want you to know is that your integrity is more important to us than your talent. You could be the most talented musician or the most talented singer or the most talented member of our production team. But if you don't have integrity uh, and you don't reflect the gospel of Jesus, we're not going to ask you to serve here in ministry. For us, having good integrity is better than having talent. The next thing we would like for you to know is that our communication and scheduling is done through the Planning Center Services app. Now there's going to be a separate video to teach you how to download and how to use that app. We understand that different people have different communication preferences, that you might like email, that you might like text, you may uh, be a fan of receiving a phone call, but we have to have one method for everybody to communicate and the Planning Center Services app is that. And through the Planning Center Services app, you'll receive information two different ways. One, we ask that you have the notifications on on your Planning Center Services app, and you'll receive notifications on your phone or your tablet or whatever device you have uh, the Planning Center Services app on. You'll also receive email from the Planning Center Services app, so make sure that you have your email notifications and your email address in the Planning Center Services app as well. Next thing we'd like you to know is that our regular rehearsal times are Thursday evening and Sunday morning. Now, every week you'll receive some information from our worship leader, me, about when practices are going to be. And they're usually at 6.30 in the evening on Thursdays and then 7.45 a.m. on Sundays. But that is subject to change. Again, make sure you're tuning in to your app and your email to make sure when the practices are going to be for that given week. Next point is that we want you to be punctual to all our rehearsals and events. For example, if our practice starts at 7.45 a.m. on Sunday, that means we're actually going to start playing music and rehearsing at 7.45 a.m. And so if you've got prep work to do, we want you to come in early before 7.45 a.m. to get your stuff ready. Maybe you're a guitarist and you need to set up your pedals and your guitar. Maybe you're serving the production booth and you need to turn on the computer or you need to get the soundboard ready. Or maybe you're a singer and you need to get your in-ears ready to, to sing and make sure that you can hear. We want you to do all of that before 7.45 a.m. just to make sure that we can have the most productive time possible. Next point is we want you to be prepared for rehearsal. So we don't want you coming in cold to our rehearsals. We want you to listen to the music and look at the music before you come into rehearsal so we can have a productive time together. So if you want to listen to the songs before you come in, here's how you do it in an easy way. So you go to the Planning Center Services app, you select the date that you're serving, and then select the media player at the bottom of the screen, and that will give you access to all the YouTube recordings for that particular week. We also want you to look at the words of the sheet music, and here's three ways that you can do that. First, if you're old fashioned, you can receive a print copy of the music from our church office. That's always going to be uh, available. The next way you can access the music is again through the Planning Center Services app. So you go to the Planning Center Services app, you click on the week that you're serving, and then you go to files. And under files, you'll not only have the sheet music for that week, you'll have links to iTunes and Spotify 
and YouTube for all the songs for that given week. Now, the third way that you could access the sheet music for that week is through what's called the Planning Center Music Stand app. This is a different app from services, but connected to the same company. This is the app that I use every Sunday. Uh, you still see the tablet that's on the microphone stand that I use on Sunday. I'm actually using the Planning Center Music Stand app. So if you download that app and then open it up and just select the week, uh, that you're going to be serving, you can pull up all the sheet music and words for that given week. You just use the same username and password that you use for the Planning Center Services app. Next thing we want you to do is to be flexible. The arrangement of a song might change during the week. Uh, the arrangement that we do on Thursday night that we start with may be different from on Sunday morning. Our goal with any given arrangement is to do the best music possible for the sake of the Lord and His kingdom and not necessarily do the recorded version of a song. We're gonna do the Northwoods version of the song. So there may be changes to the chorus or the bridge. Uh, we might do additional choruses or additional bridges or do uh, additional sections. We may eliminate sections, just be flexible. Uh, a lot of worship teams, they're into doing songs note for note for note for with the recorded version. Uh, that's not us, so be flexible. And if you're serving in the booth on the production team, know that even when we perform things, we might do an additional chorus on the fly or an additional bridge on the fly. So make sure you're not falling asleep in the booth and make sure that you are uh, being aware and alert because we might do some additional pieces to any song. Be flexible. Next thing is to dress appropriately for worship. Look guys, I hate being the modesty police or the clothing police on worship team. I don't like to do it, but I will do it if I have to. We just want to give glory to God with how we dress and not be a distraction in worship for people. Ladies, we are the main goal is just to be modest. Uh, if you are raising your hands to praise the Lord, we want to make sure that you're not showing anything appropriate. If you have to bend over at any point, we want to make sure that you're not showing anything inappropriate to the audience. Just dress modestly and think about that you're gonna be on a raised platform and elevated stage above the audience. So make sure that you're dressed modestly and not inappropriate. Guys, our problem tends to be that we often dress like a slob. So make sure that you are dressed better than you would for going to work or going to school. For example, we want you to wear pants and not shorts. We want you to wear shirts with no logos or no ads on them. And we want to make sure that you're not wearing a head covering. Don't put, wear a baseball cap to church. That would be awesome. Now, another few technical things that we want to share with you. One, we use in-ear monitors. We will provide you with uh, headphones, earphones to use with that. But if you want to bring your own uh, in-ear earphones with you, that's great because we want you to be comfortable with what you are using and use something that is a high enough quality that you're able to hear. The in-ear monitor system that we use will allow you to turn up and turn down various singers or various members of the band, so the mix will be adjusted to you. We'll give you a bigger tutorial on how to use the in-ear monitor system when you come for your first practice. We also want to give the singers a very short tutorial on how to hold a microphone. This is just a common problem that we have. We don't want you to hold it at your belly button or your chest. We want you to hold it a couple inches from your mouth. That's the best way to hear you. Well, this has been a quick video just talking about our expectations for serving in worship team and production team. We look forward to having you serve with us. Contact me with any questions that you have at matt at northwoodschurch.org. We'll see you soon.